Introducing the African Diaspora News Channel app, your gateway to stories that's overlooked by the corporate mainstream media. And we serve as the voice to the true power black community. Again, we got Dr. Candace Matthews. A lot of these documents, you know, looking at. We are committed to informing and educating through the power of media. This country is supposed to be about the land of the free for all. It has not been free for black people and we are tired. With our platform, we're helping to end injustice by exposing it. Join us in standing for excellence in journalism and serving our community. Download the African Diaspora News app today. So I came across a sister on TikTok. Her name is Chantal J, and she sells Afrocentric jewelry, beautiful Afrocentric jewelry. And part of her tagline is saying that it's for Black people. Well, the folks are not happy about that. She has been bombarded with racial slurs nonstop, consistently. And what she does is she responds to them. And I love the way in which she addresses them. Take a look at some of the examples I pulled from her TikTok page, which, by the way, is Kiss My Abs. Take a look. What I said is not racism, but since we're still on this topic, let me show you something. This is what I woke up to this morning. Pause to read if you need to. This is from my business page, my website. Hmm. I guess this person thought that I was going to wake up out of my sleep and see their message and just be so hurt and distraught and not want to get out of bed. I think that's what they were counting on. But if they had watched any of my videos, then they should have seen that I'm not that girl. <laughs> that is not gonna phase me. It won't be the first time I've been called that and it won't be the last. Imagine trying to bully someone and you got it all wrong. Talking blacks only. Who said that? I woke up black today, how about you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Baby, your jealousy is showing. And I mean, if I had to choose every time, look at the material. See, you don't even have a profile pic, but I promise you don't look like this. The melanin? Mm-hmm. Baby, I am a beautiful black queen. And you saying what you said is not affecting me at all because I look like this. I look like this. I look like this. Okay. Bye. <laughs> hey, guys. My name is Chantal, owner of Chantal J, where I sell dope Afrocentric jewelry for black people. And over here in this space, we black and we proud and we loud about it. Period. Oh, no, I don't have those. But I do think I have a pair of earrings for you. Hold on. He's perfect for you. We don't get it twisted. My hair may not be that long. But my skin's soft and I smell good and I'm a whole lot of woman. I truly love the way she addresses them. She addresses them in a way that would irritate them because their objective and their main goal is to just make our lives miserable and to really get to us, you know, insult us and, you know, the racial slurs and make us feel like we are other and less than. And what she does is she turns it around and she gives the sarcasm. She laughs at them. I just love the way she addresses them. But let's just talk about basic business 101. For some business owners who offer a product or a service 
And this message is for the folks. When you offer a product or a service for some business owners, you have a target audience. So in this case, Sister Chantal sells Afrocentric jewelry. So her target audience is black people. So when she says, I sell dope Afrocentric jewelry for black women or for black people, that is her target audience. At no time does she say only for black people. At no time has she uttered any racial slurs to anybody. She is merely expressing that this is my target audience. The jewelry is, you know, the map of Africa. The fist, target audience. White people still buy from her. She has expressed that numerous times. White people buy from her. Other races buy from her. They love the jewelry. And one of her very good friends is white. She has nothing against white people. She's just saying, this is my target audience. So to the folks that want to come on her page and tell her she's racist, again, I implore you, go and educate yourself on what racist is and what racism is. She is not a racist. She is merely expressing who her target audience is. I can't say it enough. And after you have taken a good lesson on what the definition of a racist is, I encourage you to take a mirror, look at yourself, and ask yourself this question. Why am I mad because this black person is promoting her business and saying that her target audience is black people? This is for black people. Never ever did she say only for black people. So you need to ask yourself, why am I so mad? Why am I calling her a racist? Why do I have a problem with a black person succeeding in business and building for black people as her target audience? Why do you have a problem with that? I think that really speaks to your character. If you see somebody selling something and you feel like you can go on their page and call them every name but a child of God and issue racial slurs, that's a conversation you need to have with yourself. And to Sister Chantal J. You keep doing your thing, girl. You are stunning and your jewelry is beautiful. I myself have placed an order for the um, fragrance oils, which by the way, the one I want is sold out. But go check her out, family. Again, her handle is Kiss My Abs and her name is Chantal J and her company is called Chantal J. She says we are black and proud and loud about it. Support black owned businesses. Let me know what you all think about this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and definitely share this content. Also download the African Diaspora News app. You can grab it at the Google or Apple store or head over to africandiasporanews.org and grab it there. You'll have access to content you won't see here or anywhere else. So you want to grab that app. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel, EA Public Relations. Until next time, please be safe, everyone.